My name is Sarai, and this is Sarai Has Sense. Welcome or welcome back to my channel, you guys. If you are returning, you are so, so appreciated, and I'm so happy to have you here with me for another Friday, another Fragrance Friday, okay, period. And if you are new, <laughs> my name is Sarai. I do videos on all things fragrance and some things lifestyle, and if that is your thing, please make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and share this fragrance video if you care. You guys, I am so, so excited for this video this Friday. I just wanna say, first of all, you guys, happy spring! happy spring okay and happy fragrance friday you guys um again i'm so happy to have you all here with me um today's video we're just going to talk about my top 10 spring perfumes you guys um my top picks i love spring i love everything about spring you guys i love flowers hence the shirt i love bright colors hence the nails in the shirt <laughs> and i just love it because it's also my birthday month my birthday is may 3rd so yeah you guys i love spring happy spring and let's hop right into this fragrance video all right you guys hopping right into the top 10. um first up we have um from the house of narciso rodriguez we have must noir rose from her gorgeous bottle you guys well very minimalistic sorry <laughs> very minimalistic but it's heavy I like the quality I like the top it's like rectangular I like it um, and I love the pink juice so yeah you guys um I just recently got this I did say that I was gonna do a review on this for you guys so here we are baby I love this you guys as you've seen in my last video of like the fragrances of like to not buy um, I did have one from the house of Narcito Rodriguez you guys this is a extremely hard house in my opinion to um, find a fragrance that is like you know that you like or that is you you know what I'm saying but I do think you guys if you have not tried must noir rose for her you definitely need to try it this is definitely crowd pleasing I don't think anybody would dislike this and yeah you guys I just really love this it's very spicy it's uh it's sweet a little bit it has some rose in there so I really enjoy this fragrance hopping right into the notes um must noir rose for her by the house of Narciso Rodriguez has top notes of plum, pink pepper, and bergamot. It has middle notes of musk, rose, and tuberose. And it has base notes of vanilla. And I guess that's where I'm picking up on that spice, you guys. You guys know I'm not a fan of pink pepper, but I enjoy this. Like, I like how the pink pepper is done in here. Um, I enjoy the plum. I enjoy the bergamot that is with it. Um, I do smell rose, like I said, you guys, and that rose in the middle is beautiful. The tube rose right along with it is beautiful. They're both subtle, but they both push. Like, I love it. And the base is vanilla, you guys. When it dries down, I definitely get, like, vanilla vibes and just sweet vibes. That's where that sweet, you know, um, that sweet and airy, you know, uh, scent comes from in the end in the dry down. So, yeah, you guys, I love this fragrance. I think that if you don't have it, you need to get it, girl. You need to get it for spring. It's definitely one that is springish. It's bright. It's airy. And it's just great. It's great for spring, you guys. So, yes, from the house of Narciso Rodriguez. Rodriguez, that is must noir rose for her all right you guys up next from the house of burberry we have burberry blossom and this is a ebt you guys but it smells so so good again that's burberry her blossom it literally as you can see <laughs> has the same bottle as burberry her burberry elixir this is just another flanker this is the blossom version um, it has a white cap. That's how you guys can tell the difference, you guys. Like, if you're ever trying to figure out, like, how am I supposed to figure out the differences between what Burberry is which, Blossom has a white cap. I believe that, um, her, the regular one, has, like, a pink blush cap. As you guys know, the Elixir is, like, a pink blush bottle. And then the new, uh, Burberry Her EDT, um, is, like, green with, like, this greenish top. So, like, you guys can just tell the difference, honestly, within the 
top and sometimes with how they um, make the bottle. But straight into this fragrance, you guys, Burberry Herb Blossom smells so, so good. I actually picked this up, you guys, one day when I was in the Burberry store. I had smelled Burberry Her. It was out for like uh, testing and I smelled it and I really, really wanted Burberry Her, but they did not have it. So one of the ladies told me to smell Blossom because this was one of her favorites. And when I smelled it, I was just as blown away. And I'm like, oh my God, this smells so good. Like it was just so, it was just like so fresh. It just reminded me of like the freshest, air and the prettiest flowers ever <laughs> and so hopping right into the notes you guys for burberry her blossom um we have top notes of mandarin orange and pink pepper we have middle notes of peony and plum blossom and we have base notes of musk and sandalwood you guys this smells so good like i just want to spray it on me now <laughs> Oh my God, you guys, this smells so, so good. The peony in here is amazing, you guys. I didn't even know that this had pink pepper in it, but this smells so, so good, you guys. I can barely smell that pink pepper. I really get the rose. I really get the mandarin orange in the beginning, um, and I really get that musk and that sandalwood for the dry down. And again, you guys, this is just amazing for spring to just spring into action this is perfect you guys this is an everyday scent this is a signature scent this is this is the perfect scent you guys for spring and if you don't have it baby you need to add it into your collection and again that is burberry her blossom moving on up next you guys from the house of dolce and gabbana we have liam patrice Another simplistic bottle, another one you guys with pink juice. I know you guys are probably like, dang, mom. <laughs> like, but yes, another one with pink juice. I think that pink is spring, okay? Pink, peach, orange, all of that is spring. Um, you guys, I am still getting my feet wet with this um, fragrance here, but I did pick her up maybe like a month or two ago. In my opinion, you guys, this is just a very fresh it's fresh and it's juicy and watery almost like watermelon like juicy and watery like that you guys and it smells so so good we can hop right into the notes for this you guys um this has top notes of kiwi rhubarb and pink pepper um it has middle notes of watermelon cyclamen and jasmine and it has base notes of lemon tree musk and sandalwood and i do you guys pick up kiwi also um, I guess that's where that like fruity, watery vibe is coming from. So I definitely get the kiwi. I think I do get some pink pepper. I'm sorry, you guys. I sprayed this on my hand off camera. Um, this definitely does have like some pink pepper in it. It definitely has rhubarb. I'm not going to lie, you guys. I don't smell a lot of jasmine, but she's playing her part just a little bit in the middle. But I think that the watermelon is doing most of the work. And honestly, probably the cyclamen um, is probably doing a lot of the work too. And as this is drying down, I can't say that I get much musk or sandalwood, you guys, but I think I get some lemon tree. <laughs> um, and yeah, you guys, this is just a really like fruity scent. It is perfect for like fresh out the shower on a spring day. And I think it's still great for spring. I think that it does last, you know, a few hours. I don't think the longevity on here is like super crazy. But um, I do think that this is still perfect for spring. It's perfect for like when you're fresh out the shower and you're about to go run some errands like on a spring day. This will smell so good blowing in the wind and, you know, with that little bit of heat, baby. So yeah, you guys, that is Liam Pat from the house of Dolce and Gabbana definitely cop up you definitely need you some Liam Patrice for spring baby don't play okay moving on <laughs> all right you guys up next from the house of coach we have coach floral EDP oh my god you guys this is a love love of mine OMG. And I like the bottle. I like the simplicity, but it's also unique, you guys. Like, I like, you know, I just like this. I like the top. It actually doesn't come with a cap or anything, you guys. Like, it's just, it's just what you, what you see is what you get. But I really think it's unique, and I think it's so cute and girly. And the juice is pink, baby. Y'all know we love pink over here. Um, So, yeah, you guys, Coach 
floral smells so good this is another one that you absolutely need in your collection for spring this is more so like on the fruity side but it's also floral but it's really fruity this one smells so so good i'm gonna put this on my right hand this one smells amazing you guys oh m g we're gonna get right into the notes but let me sniff let me sniff okay mm, yes yes you guys you guys need coach floral edp if you don't have it in your collection you definitely need it for spring you guys jumping right into the notes for this we have top notes of pineapple pink pepper orange lemon and bergamot we have middle notes of gardenia tea rose jasmine sandbag and hideon and we have base notes of musk patchouli vanilla woody notes and sandalwood you guys this smells so good once again oh my god it seems to me you guys in my opinion like the notes switched around so like the middle notes that are like gardenia jasmine tea rose those are the notes that i get when this actually first opens up and then when this starts to settle down i start to smell my pineapple and just like my orange and my lemon and i do think i get a whiff of pink pepper but you guys this is done so so perfectly like oh my god this is done so perfectly like the mixture of pineapple and orange and lemon and bergamot and just all of those those citruses and you know that one that th those citruses because you know pineapple is actually a citrus too so like it's just so juicy oh my god it's so juicy so flowery and <laughs> it's just perfect you guys for um spring i really really suggest if you don't have it you get coach floral in your collection this is the edp you guys i love her you're gonna love her get her for spring moving on all right you guys we are on number five of ten so let's keep this rolling up next we have another citrus you know musky Oh my God, just another beautiful spring scent, of course, from the house of Dolce & Gabbana. And that is light blue intense, you guys. Oh my God. Light blue intense. I love this bottle, you guys. I love the frost. I love the blue. It is so stinking gorgeous. I know this might seem chic to some people, but I don't know. It's something about this bottle that I just love. As you guys can see, I, I've been using her, okay? I've been using her, you guys. This is the most beautiful, fresh scent I have ever smelled in my life, you guys. The lemon in this, like, this is so citrusy and so fresh. Like, I don't know anybody who would dislike this. Um, jumping right into the notes, you guys, for Dolce & Gabbana Light Blue Intense, we have top notes of lemon and Granny Smith Apple, okay? The green Granny Smith Apple, don't play. And we have middle notes of jasmine and marigold, and we have base notes of musk and amberwood. You guys, the lemon in this fragrance and the apple, oh my God, you guys. Imagine grinding that up into like a juicer and then putting it in a bottle and then spraying it. That's how citrusy and fresh and just so good that this smells. Of course, you guys, with it being mixed with some florals such as jasmine and marigold, it just gives it a push. It gives it what it needs, you guys. The musk, the amber wood, it is all amazing. I kind of get a whiff of everything when I spray it, when it's in the middle and when it's drying down. And I absolutely love that, you guys. This smells so good, you guys. The lemon, oh my God, I can't get over it. If you are looking for a fragrance to add in your collection for spring, Dolce & Gabbana Light Blue Intense is definitely the one, girlfriend, okay? I don't have to spray this. I know exactly what this smells like. You guys need it. You ain't got it, get it. It's gonna be linked below. So make sure you cop up. Moving on. Up next, you guys, from the house of Prada, we have Prada Paradox. Gorgeous bottle, you guys. Look at that triangle. If you know Prada, you know Prada is always and has always 
um, had a triangle for their logo. And I just love this. I love the emblem on the top. I love this. They did so good with this bottle. I am extremely excited to talk about Prada Paradox. I grabbed her, of course, before I started my YouTube channel when this was going crazy all over YouTube. And I feel like, in my opinion, that she was definitely worth the hype. She is definitely crowd-pleasing. Um, I'm not going to say that this is like something you've never smelled before because I'm sure it is. Um, but I still think that this has its own little, you know, DNA to it and I absolutely love this, you guys. Jumping right into the notes for Prada Paradox, we have top notes of pear, tangerine, and bergamot. We have middle notes of orange blossom, neroli essence, neroli, and jasmine sandback. And we have base notes of bourbon vanilla, amber, white musk, and benzoin. You guys, I smell every floral again <laughs> so the orange blossom the neroli the jasmine sandbag and in the beginning i think i do get some tangerine and some pear it's not really really sour so i, I wasn't really picking up on like the bergamot but the tangerine and the pear smell so so good you guys i smell that for sure and when this is drying down i definitely get some bourbon vanilla and i definitely get some musk you guys this is a wonderful scent for spring again this is not nothing groundbreaking but i think you need something like this in your collection it's girly it's every day it's spring again and yeah it's just it's perfect for this season you guys it's perfect for this type of weather but still if you don't have her get prada paradox you definitely need her in your collection um moving on all right you guys up next from the house of chanel we have chanel chance otandra I like this circle bottle, you guys. It is simplistic. I enjoy it. I like the circle bottle. Um, this, you guys, smell so good. This is a, another scent that is perfect when you're like fresh out the shower. It is also one that is perfect for the weather that we are about to have this upcoming spring um, starting today. So, you know, Chanel Chance Otandra, you guys, is definitely one that you need in your collection. I'm not going to lie. The longevity on Chanel Chance is not the best, okay? But this is a beautiful scent. And obviously, it's big enough if you get the small one, okay? Period. If you get the small one, it is big enough to fit in your purse so that you can continue to reapply. You may have to reapply this after maybe four and a half hours, maybe five if your chemistry can pull it off. But, you know, after four and a half hours, you're definitely going to want to spray this again. But this is beautiful again, you guys. Perfect for spring. Perfect for fresh out the shower. Perfect for a date night in the spring. Oh, my God. I can only imagine. So right into the notes, you guys. Chanel Chance Otandra has top notes of quince and grapefruit. It has middle notes of hyacinth and jasmine. And it has base notes of musk, iris, Virginian cedar, and amber. And I hope I said that right, <laughs> Hi hyacinth. Um, but anyway, yeah, you guys, I definitely get grapefruit. I definitely get jasmine. And I definitely get musk and iris and just all of those things. This is very fresh. I Like I said, I definitely get the grapefruit. I'm not sure, you guys, what quince smells like or hyacinth. But I am almost for certain that in the middle, that is what I'm getting with the jasmine. And again, I'm not sure if quince is a fruit. I don't know what that is, you guys. So if you know, comment down below, you guys. I'm not sure what that is. But I'm definitely getting some grapefruit in here. And this is just perfect, you guys, again, for spring. This is, again, fresh. This is, again, something you can wear fresh out the shower. This is floral. This is citrusy. This is musky. This is just everything you need in a spring fragrance. So, again, you guys, if you don't have Chanel Chance, cop up. You definitely need her. Moving on. All right, babes, we are down to our last three, okay? Now, up next, from the house of Versace, we have Versace Eros Porfem, the EDT, you guys. And please remember I said EDT. All of the links, again, will be below. So, you guys, I haven't gotten much use out of this, okay? And I would be embarrassed to tell you guys when I got it, so I'm not, <laughs> 
But Versace Eros Porfem EDT, you guys, is another citrus love, okay, of mine. This smells so good, you guys. I have so many, so you see why, like, there's not, like, huge dents in these, but I've been, I've been using her, okay? I've been using her just a little bit, if you can see through the bag. I be, I be, I be trying, y'all. I be trying. Um, this smells so good, you guys, though. If you don't have it in your collection, I definitely think that this is a staple, okay, for spring. You definitely need this in your collection if you don't have it. Um, right into the notes, you guys, for Versace Eros Porfum, the EDT, we have top notes of Sicilian lemon, raspberry, white currant, mandarin orange, and cologne. We have middle notes of magnolia, jasmine, orange blossom, and freesia. And we have base notes of musk, and Broxon, Woody Notes, and Patchouli. You guys, I definitely pick up on that Sicilian lemon and that mandarin orange in the beginning. It is gorgeous. And I don't know if because they mixed it with that fruit, that raspberry and like some white currant, that that's why it's giving off like this really juicy, citrusy. It's very juicy, like mouth-watering. Not watery like Liam Patrice, but very mouth-watering and heavily juicy. It smells so, so good, you guys. In the middle, when I spray this, I do get some orange blossom and jasmine. Um... Not too much freesia, I don't think, you guys, but you definitely get that orange blossom, definitely get that jasmine. And of course, you guys, in the dry down, I get my musk, my girl, my, my woody notes, my patchouli. Like, I get all of that, you guys. This is a staple, like I said, for spring. You need this in your collection, you guys. Again, this is citrusy. This is woody. This is musky. This is sweet. This is everything that spring is, okay? If you were just in a garden full of, like, flowers and fruits and everything else that is spring <laughs> um you hear you guys so again if you don't have it you need versace eros Porfem, the edt in your collection for spring you won't go wrong with this one you guys you need her oh and really quickly the longevity good Chef's kiss, really good, really, 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 really good. I get about seven hours with this. So this is good for me, you guys. I don't really have to like reapply this a whole bunch of times. This lasts on me. So yeah, you guys, that's Versace, Eros, Porfem, the EDT. Moving on. Guys, up next from the house of Jimmy Choo, we have I Want Chew. I love this bottle, you guys. As you guys can see, I've been spraying her. I do enjoy this fragrance, you guys. This is like a crowd pleaser another crowd pleaser one that i don't see anyone not liking this is for that girl for every day so you can wear this anywhere you guys making runs this is another signature scent and another one that is just great for spring like i said hopping right into the notes for jimmy Choo. i want you we have top notes of peach and mandarin orange we have middle notes of jasmine and red lily and then we have base notes of vanilla um you guys when i spray this I do get that fruitiness from the peach and the mandarin orange of course I do get the florals which is the jasmine and the lily this is literally simple like what you read in the notes is what you get when you spray it it smells really really good and again I don't think it's a, a fragrance that you know anybody would like dislike this is crawl pleasing it's something everyone would like and um, I'm not gonna lie I don't get too much vanilla in the dry down I think that my nose just stays with the top notes and the middle notes but that's okay okay we're all different um, but you know irregardless of that if you don't have Jimmy Choo I want you you definitely need her you guys in your collection for spring she smells good she is straight to the point but she is like you know, she might, you know, you might get a couple people to stop you like, hey girl, what you have on? Like that smells good. So yeah, definitely add this to your collection if you don't have it already for spring. And that is Jimmy Choo. I want Choo. I want Choo boo. All right, you guys, last but not least on our top 10 spring fragrances video, we have Gucci Guilty Black, okay? Period. 
So Gucci Guilty Black, you guys, is a part of the Gucci Guilty um, line, as you guys know. I know a lot of you guys probably have, like, the regular Gucci Guilty. I had that one as well. Ran through it, you guys. I think I bought it twice, and I just ran through it. So I'm like, well, let me try another flanker from them. So I did try um, Gucci Guilty Black as well as Gucci Guilty Absolute Parfum, and I did not like Parfum. That is also in my video that I will link below um, of fragrances that I don't like, you guys. Um, yeah, so I tried Parfum. I really didn't like that one. Absolute. But I loved Gucci Guilty Black. I think that this is perfect for spring, you guys, because it's just everything sweet and light. It's not sweet and heavy like a gourmand, but it's sweet and light. And I absolutely love this fragrance, you guys. Hopping right into the notes for Gucci Guilty Black. We have top notes of red berries and pink pepper. We have middle notes of raspberry, lilac, violet, peach, and red red currant and we have base notes of patchouli amber and caramel again you guys definitely pick up on caramel definitely pick up on raspberry and red berries and peach and i do pick up on i think that's lilac that I'm smelling that smells really really good like that is really that is really nice the lilac is really nice so I think I'm definitely picking up on some lilac and yeah you guys it just smells so good. I know you guys were probably like, Sarah, every fragrance that you mentioned today had pink pepper. Girl, you said you ain't like pink pepper. No. I said, I can deal with some pink pepper if it is done properly. But if I if I feel like pink pepper is the star of the show and I can't smell any other note in it, I will throw it in the trash. Okay? Period. So, yeah. The pink pepper in this is done so, so well, you guys. I absolutely love it with the red berries and the raspberry and the lilac, the violet, the peach. I think it just goes perfect, you guys. If you don't have Gucci Guilty Black in your collection, you definitely need it for spring. Again, this one is just more sweet. It's not as citrusy like the other ones and like as fresh, but this one is like really sweet and it's very flowery still. And I just feel like this is still great for spring. So yeah, you guys, it was Gucci Guilty Black Parfum. And that is it for this Friday fragrance video, you guys. I hope you all enjoyed it. Please make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and share this fragrance video if you care. And definitely come back next Friday because I will be here and I want you to be here with me, okay, for another fragrance Friday. So, yeah, you guys, enjoy the rest of your day. Thank you for being here with me. I'll see you next time. Yeah.